Hello everyone, my name is Paweł Rymsza and today I will show you how to approach lighting a scene which lacks any exterior lighting. So as you can see we have a small bathroom here and the scene is very dark. We have dark floor, dark walls, dark ceiling, uh, central omni light at the top. And that's the general problem when you are facing this kind of environment. So how we should approach it instead? Uh, I propose we add additional lights to balance the scene much better. This way we're gonna start with the light category and I'm gonna bring a neon light. I'm gonna place it closer to the ceiling, switch on shadows, put color temperature to around 3000 and place it the way it leads up the corner of our room. Okay, nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I will actually copy that light. So I'm shift clicking, rotating the light and placing it at the back of our room. All right, nice. Now we can delete the Omni light which we won't need anymore and as you can see the room is pretty dark and it's also very yellow now we're gonna add additional lights so i would like to have couple lights right here because this part of the room is pretty dark i can always copy the light couple times okay nice and now i'm gonna also change the settings so I need to lower the intensity because as you can see those lights are definitely too strong. So we're going down with the strength of the light and now we're also going to change the color and switch on shadows. Nice. So we had that part of the room much brighter. Now we need to have some light at the center of the room. The easy way to approach such scenes is simply by opening the doors. So what you can do is open the door and put a single area light right outside of the room. So we are placing it more or less in the correct location by rotating. Okay, now we're gonna reduce the length and width and we'll also increase the range. Uh, obviously, we also need to enable shadows. Okay, and the last thing, we will change the color of the light to give it slightly bluish tone. Now we can see that the room is evenly lit. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Now the last part is actually the composition of the image and where the camera is placed. So what I have right now is a standard 18 millimeter lens. However, with this kind of rooms, it actually is very tempting to go even lower, thus creating the fish eye effect. Instead, what you can do is actually increase the focal length quite significantly to 35. Now we go into details and we are gonna increase the clipping size all the way up to two and a half meter. This way we have much more space to actually go back with our camera before we hit the back wall. So we can place our camera, refresh, and now I'm gonna make sure it's aligned and parallel to our wall to make it even better look. And the last thing which we can also do is go down to bloom and flares and increase the bloom intensity. If you increase it above 100, you can see that neon materials are gonna look much more lit up. Obviously you need to look at what value this looks the best. Keep in mind you can also change the bloom flare and the last thing which I would look at is FX and the contrast value. We can go a bit up to like 66% to make it more uh, contrasty. Thank you very much and have a great day.